Right, so ePrints is installed and you want to uh, make it run under SSL so that when you click on login, this is running securely so passwords aren't sent in the clear. Very good idea to do. <coughs> the first thing you need is a certificate. So um, I'm going to create a self-signed certificate. Um, and I'm just going to follow some instructions on the web. Um, really, you want to you want to know how to do this properly. This is a kind of a uh, a, a path of least resistance for getting the video uh, smoothly done. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a certificate request, and we're going to create a self signed certificate so that we can we can uh, run this securely. Ah, wait. Um, mm -hmm. So now we have a key, and we're going to create, we're going to strip the password off it so we can just use it easily. Um, it's, again, otherwise every time you restart Apache, you are going to have to Uh, you're going to have to enter your password. Now we create the certificate request. Now, if you're submitting this to an authority, you need to make sure you get this perfectly right, uh, because I think they do string matching to, to, to make sure that, 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 that everything's correct uh, and matches the records. I think common name is the URL so FQDN, fully qualified domain name. Aha, uh -huh. yes. It, so um, this will be roadhouse.eprints.org. So I've got the request, the CSR, and I can use that to self sign a certificate. And then I'm going to stick the certificates in uh, an appropriate directory and don't leave these lying around people make sure you put them somewhere safe somewhere secure um, otherwise uh, people can do bad things with your security. Um, right, what's next? Next, we need to get ePrints running under, uh, under SSL, and this is dead easy. In the, the 10 core file, all you have to do to turn on SSL is create a secure host entry here, which is also roadhouse.local. I think. I've entered the wrong URL. I wonder if that's going to cause a problem. Maybe we should do this bit again. Hmm. See how it goes. We might have to come back and fix that. Um, and then we need to run Generate Apache Conf, and you can see that this will create our Apache SSL configuration file. Now, whenever I come to do this, 
I can never remember how to do it, so I always just go to one of my servers that I've already set up. There's also an Ubuntu server, and um, so what I want to have a look at is the configuration file for ePrints 3 SSL. And so each repository gets its own virtual host with a specific IP address. You need that for SSL um, and this stuff in it. Um, and that is essentially turning SSL engine on, linking to the certificate and the key, um, including the, uh, the ePrints configuration that's been generated for Apache and then turning on Apache rewrite engine, uh, 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 sorry, Registering the Apache rewrite engine, uh, uh, the ePrints's rewrite engine for Apache. Oh, I'll get it right in a minute. Right, so let's copy that and let's paste it in. So we're, we're serving on localhost here, I believe. Yeah, one two seven zero zero one. Cell engine on. This is the wrong address. Where do we put it? We put it in etc SSL certs. Serve.crt. Yep, it's so easy when you just use the names in the examples, but I don't recommend you doing that. You should give your your um, your your certificates meaningful names. And then it's called Birdhouse, and that is it configured. So. If we restart Apache, we'll have another problem. Uh, let me show you. Ah, wait. I need to. That's A2 Insight Reprints SSL. So that's enabled now. And I'm going to restart Apache, but it's not going to work because I don't think SSL is turned on. Yes, in better command, SSL engine. But if we look at, I wonder if it's installed. Uh, Once available, it should be. Yeah, there you go, SSL. A to N mod SSL. And let's restart it again. Oh. Ah, that's why. Sites, SSL, and it was the second one wasn't cert, it was private. Restart, that looks better. So now we have the non SSL site being served. We can have a look at this, it's not secure, but if we log in, fingers crossed, we get this uh, connection is untrusted. This is because it's a self-signed certificate. We know that because it says it is self-signed. This is certificate is only valid for birdhouse.eprints.org. Um, of course, this is this is information that's coming up the certificate displayed to the user. It's not the same certificate, it's not 
it's not the same URL. Um, but I can say, well, I kind of trust this because I, I made it, or I trust the person that made it. I will confirm that, and now we can log in without that warning. Um, Self-signed certificates are a great way to, to test things or to, to stick something easy to do on a dev server or you know to, to fill a gap while you're waiting for a proper uh, a certificate to come from whichever uh, uh, provider you use. And that's uh, SSL.